we have managed to fabricate very teeny tiny structures. The dimension of those structures is 500 less than the thickness of the human hair. Those magic structures are capable to uh, change the intensity of the light, change the shape of the light, and at the same time, change the color of the light. Our eyes are capable to see objects only in the visible spectrum. If we can fabricate an array of other nanostructures on flat surfaces like glass, at the end of the day, we will be able to convert the invisible light in the nighttime or in dark areas to the visible light, which finally help us to see the objects in very dark environments. These new nanocrystals can be used for various applications, uh, like, for example, converting light for night vision, uh, also creating security holograms, like in our banknotes, as well as uh, imaging application and visible displays. In order to measure the tiny amount of light coming from our nanostructures, we build this setup. It's a complicated one, but we need it to do like that because we need to have a lot of control in every detail of our experiment. We had to overcome three important challenges. The first one is the fabrication of these devices on glass substrate. The second one is measuring them, or measuring the conversion of the color, changes of the colors from invisible to visible. And the third one was performing extensive numerical simulations in order to understand the physics behind the operation of the device. In order to realize this breakthrough research, we got very great support, not only from the physicists from uh, Australian National University, but also from top physicists overseas.